What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I thought it'd be fun to open up some Dawn of Majesty packs that I picked up from Walmart. Just got some random booster packs here, so I'm hoping we're gonna have some good luck. Still after a lot of the Stardust stuff, really, I mean, uh, the Magic Key stuff looks cool too, but it's mainly Stardust stuff, which is unfortunate that it's a lot of high rarity, but at least a lot of the main cards in this set are fairly cheap. I think people are, a lot of people are like saving up for the next set, basically. But again, I want that Stardust support, so I thought I would get this. Also, we do have a sponsor for today's video. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now, you may be wondering, what is Skillshare? What is all this? If you haven't heard about it already, which I know I've talked about several times and others have too, but basically it is a community for curious and creative people. It's people out there that want to learn some new stuff, whether it's improve on a skill they already have or learn a brand new one. You're paying a simple price where you get premium content, you don't have to deal with advertisements, you don't have to deal with some kind of YouTube channel late at night that you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I edit this video and it's everywhere kind of thing. No, you're actually professionals that are making this content. And they have all kinds of different skills they can help you with, as the name suggests. I mean, you can do things like animation, graphic design, the class that I've been trying out is a Web Development Fundamentals, HTML, and CSS by Christopher Dodd. He has a bunch of different videos over uh, web development, and uh, right now I'm just trying to learn as much as I can, and his videos have been very helpful to me, and it looks like, too, he has a lot of other videos going on, too, like different series where you can learn more about web development, so I plan on checking those out after I get finished with this one, too. Be sure to check out Skillshare. It does help support this channel, and of course, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description, you will get a one-month free trial to Skillshare, and uh, it will help you kind of see how the website works and everything, and maybe you can decide from there, is this worth checking out more of or, or what? It'll give you that kind of, you know, idea of how the website works and everything. So I definitely recommend it, a lot of cool stuff on there, and uh, yeah, I mean, seriously, check them out, link in the description. Anyway, let's get to opening, see what we got here. I think I have 10 packs here if I count it correctly. I could be wrong, <laughs> we'll see. Maybe just enough for a Starlight Stardust. Eh? <laughs> Link Apple. Okay, starting off with a super. Yeah, I would love to get that Stardust Dragon, but uh, it's not easy to get, obviously. Might honestly be easier to get a Ghost Rare. I think technically it is. Out of, uh, out of like, Ghosts from the Past, I guess, or something. Maybe even out of the older Ghost Rares, you might have better luck. The older sets... We have, oh, there we go. We have Magic Key World. So that at least gives us an ultra rare. Okay, I feel a little bit better. With random packs, you don't know. You don't know if you're going to go all super rares or what. And at least it's a Magic Key card. Again, I am interested in building that deck too. They do actually have a few higher rarity cards. I couldn't remember with them what they had. No other stuff that was like common in super, so. We have B Trooper Formation. Another field spell. Alright. All right. I'll feel like a winner if I just get anything Stardust Dragon, honestly, from this. Especially one of the Seeker ones, because... Ugh, again, it's cool they got the high rarity stuff, but it's uh, it's going to be fun to hunt down. B Trooper Formation. I think I've seen that card before. There you go. I've heard some people actually find in some of the next Mega Ten cards in their packs too, so be sure to check if you happen to notice that. Yeah, some of the commons evidently are sneaking their way into the commons of this set, so <laughs> it happens here and there with Konami. Oh, hey, there we go! We actually got a secret here! Yeah, uh, we have Anti-Human Intelligence Messiah. It's technically how you say, I don't know, Misaya or whatever. But yeah, it is actually the pendulum for uh, Cybers. So that's pretty cool. I like this card. I'm kind of surprised it's as cheap as it is, or at least as, you know, last time I checked. Who knows? It could go up, down, whatever. Uh, but I do think this is a really good card. I mean, seriously, it's a good pendulum monster. And it's good that they Cybers actually got something decent for pendulums. Because I was wondering if they ever would. And then would it be good in the end? You know, because it goes for every form of summoning with that deck. But, uh, yeah, this is actually a really cool card. Remember when it was getting some serious hype in Japan? Um, last time I checked, though, pretty cheap, but I still love this card. So, yeah. I know I said if I get a Stardust, I consider that a win. But honestly, if I get a Seeker here, that's <laughs> a pretty much a win right there for me out of random packs. But I'm not giving up on getting our Stardust support either. But that is one of the main Seekers 
I want a play set of. So I'm kind of happy they aren't that expensive. Because I want a few of them. And we have Knights in Administrator. Kind of cool. I guess it's like the Tuner Monster grown up, isn't it? I don't remember exactly. Knights and Sorcerer or whatever. I think there's lore there. I'm not really sure. I could be wrong. Alright. Then we have Dino Wrestler Iguana Draka. I think that's the one I don't really know how you say, but there you go. It's about as good as you're going to get from me. Come on, let's get a Stardust Synchron. I think that's still the toughest one to get. Flying Red Carp. I like that card. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. Another uh, Knights and Administrator. Again, got a little bit of doubles going on. And only two packs left. We've done fairly well for ten packs, but hoping for something else above a super. And I'll take it. There we go. There's an ultra rare. All right. We have a Grand Sulfur Chord uh, Musica. So, yeah, we actually won the Sulfur Chord cards. Um, it's an archetype that's never really interests me too much. I actually have a few other collector's rares, though, oddly enough. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's an ultra rare, so I'll take it, you know? No complaints here. So I basically got, like, you know, half a box, pretty much, <laughs> of uh, the rarities. But we still have one pack left, so can we end with that Starlight Star Strike? I don't know. Well, if I can actually call this, that'd be amazing. You have to like then, for sure. But share your energy with me. Let's see, because... I, I want that Stardust so bad, but <laughs> I think you could buy several cases and still not get one at all, so I don't know if I'm going to hunt for that too much. Don't have to because it's right here. Wow, really? Okay, <laughs> well, at least we ended with some above a super rare. Uh, again, a little bit of a double. <laughs> we got another one on Musica, the Grand Sofa Chord. So, uh, yeah, that's... A weird one to end off on. Sure, why not? At least it's entertaining. <laughs> it might not be our Stardust, but you know what? I got an extra ultra out of it, I feel like. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, pretty good out of 10 packs. Do I plan on buying a lot of this set, though? I really don't. I mean, there's some cool stuff in this set, don't get me wrong, but it's not really one of those I'm like all in. You know, King's Court, I think is an amazing set. Um, I think maybe there's a couple that are coming out soon, especially like the Mega Tens, I would invest money in. And then especially Burst of Destiny, which is the next main set. That one honestly looks a lot better. So if you're looking to spend a lot of money on cards, maybe honestly save it. And that's even me saying that. And it seems like a lot of the cards too, if there's something you really have to like start us, you can probably get away with buying a lot of them as singles. They don't, last time I checked, again, it could change overnight. Uh, they were pretty cheap. So you might be able to get everything, but you know. Tell me how you guys are done with this set. Maybe you're having some incredible luck and you just want to keep buying packs. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> but as always, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, again, it's, it's a fun set to open up, but I feel like we got better stuff coming out too. So I, I wouldn't go too crazy. I wouldn't go hunting for that Stardust. I think you're still better off going for like collector's rares and other sets. Your odds are honestly a lot better. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe again, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.